Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to build a super simple French cleat mount to hold your Ryobi reciprocating saw in a grab and go mount and hold your blades right here on the mount upside down. This reciprocating saw French cleat holder is part of our French cleat series where we build lots of French cleats to hold our tools all over the walls. Some of them have LEDs. I have a Ryobi reciprocating saw and a French cleat wall, and it's time for this saw to go on that wall. Now I could just hang it by the handle like you've seen a lot of people do, but where's the fun in that? You gotta take it off the wall and you're holding it upside down and turn it around. I prefer my tools to be grab and go where you just walk up, grab the tool, and leave with it the way it's gonna be used. I also like to keep my tools accessories right on the tool holder because I'm lazy and I don't like to wander around the shop assembling the tool I need to use when I should be working on a project. First things first, here's the cut list. Everything is made out of quarter inch wood, except for the bottom cut, which is your backer board. Make that of anything you want. I use 3 8 inch wood. Use that or thicker, whatever works for you. The whole thing is built around a 3 inch long neodymium magnet. This isn't like the neodymium magnets you've seen before. This is an N55 neodymium magnet. We got these magnets originally to increase the power of our coasters on our compass table. But these are so powerful, they actually tore the compasses apart when we put them in the coasters. If one of these gets stuck to the side of your car, just sell the car. Strong stuff. The blades of this saw stick to magnets, and this magnet is so strong, we only need to touch the tiniest piece of this blade to the magnet for it to hold pretty securely. We're gonna use this power of magnetism to hang our blades upside down. Because I was inverted. Now that we've fully discussed the magnetism of this project, it's time to cut wood. Use whatever cutting tools you desire to cut the strips you need for the cut list I gave you earlier. And when you're finished cutting, take a sander and round the edges of all those 1.5 inch strips you've got, as I show you here. We'll set the width of our blade slots using pencils. Everybody's got pencils, right? Starting with one of your longest strips, glue the long strip down, put down a pencil, put down a shorter strip, put down a pencil, put down a shorter strip, you get the picture. Go all the way across and glue all these together. Eight hours later, Next, use some scrap wood to position the magnet at the bottom of the slots, or the top if you flip it over. I didn't conclude this in the cut list because your magnet might be different than mine, but you need to end up with something like this. So now we have this wooden box that has the blade slots in it that looks like some kind of steampunk Star Wars prop. This is exactly the sort of thing people expect to see when they come to my house. Now it's time to cut that 18 inch backer board that we're gonna hang everything off of. Use whatever wood you like. Thickness doesn't matter, just make sure it's thick enough not to bend. Now we glue the weird science fiction blade holder onto the backer board. First step, install the evil magnet into the structure. It's ready to go. People often comment that I use glue too much in my projects, but in this case, you kinda have to use glue. All right, enough about magnets. Now we're gonna talk about the hanger that this is gonna hang on. This is a hanger that I found at the hardware store that just by sheer chance fits the saw perfectly. Look at that. So we're gonna use this, since somebody already engineered it, on our hanger to save some time, because it's all about saving time. I used a scrap piece of wood to make a backer for my hook. You may or may not need this, but I needed it, so I used it. A Couple of screws hold everything together and the hook is ready to hold the tool. And then I install the French cleat on the back, which makes this an official French cleat tool holder. Yay! All done, and now the reciprocating saw holder can take its rightful place among our array of other French cleat mounted tools. With all of their parts right where we need them, I can grab and go anytime I need them. Our French cleat designs are often imitated, which is kind of the point we want you to build stuff like this, so go do it! Another French cleat project on the wall and in use here in the wood shop. Got any questions or comments, put them below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you won't miss any projects because we sometimes build things with these tools. Other than that, I'll see you next time.